Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. It is Friday, September 1st, and I'm still sad about it. It's Technical Alpha, Side B, where we answer some questions from you, the fine folks at home, the $10 and higher patrons. Mm. And hey, great news. According to uh, one Mr. Uh, Picnic, some stuff is getting shipped out or has been shipped out or some such I've in dropped that neighborhood. The first handful. Drop the first handful into the mailbox. Oh, um, I have shit. a bunch more packed. Um, I have a bunch more packed. Unfortunately, um, my two options are to go to the post office and sit there for three hours while they key in everything. Or in my case, I printed labels, but I can't just dump them all in um, unless I go to the post office, which is tricky because I work full time. Mm. So effectively, I have a post. I have a postal stop in my building that I literally every morning I drop a couple in before I go, and they're fine with that. So. You know, you'll start receiving them in the next couple of days, week or so. Hot damn. So if you mm. get yours, you receive it. For the love of God, take a picture. Send it to us on, on Twitter. We'd love to see you guys uh, with, your, uh, with your stuff. We're finally getting it out. Took a while, but it's coming. It's coming. And we'll eventually have some pictures of our own uh, to uh, update the Patreon page with as well. So you guys can get a better idea of what it is. Uh, that you may be getting your hands on should you decide to take the plunge. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty, that's pretty awesome. We've got that. We've got, um, all sorts of questions this week. We got 20 Much today. We got last. a yeah, solid 20, number. 20 Damn. questions. Many, many, many. So I will let you start as usual. Uh, Mr. Tabeen, what do you got for the first question of the evening? Uh, I'm going to, why is this, uh, Patreon, please stop putting things on top. Um, uh, let's see. Um, this is from our good buddy, Mozart Archilla. I think I had asked him at some point to put his last name in there so we can say it properly. Um, he is currently a $10 pledge. Um, okay. question is, what is your do this? It sounds ridiculous, but trust me, it's a great thing. <laughs> okay like what's um, that one neat trick that doctors don't want you to know adam uh, oh god um is this supposed to be like does it have to be like a weird thing or just something no it's just something that sounds ridiculous that people wouldn't necessarily go for that you that okay actually really good uh i'm just gonna go with uh eating some ass okay I'm going to let you have that. I'm going to let you have that one um, because that's where the poop comes from. (laughs) That's an exit. And and no matter how clean that asshole is, my mind the whole time is just going to be going back to everyone has painful shits and this this butthole is is no exception. I'm just not going to be able to cross that void. Adam, I Mm. know it sounds ridiculous. Okay, but, but me, okay, it's great. <laughs> uh, all right, I, I, I will, I will, uh, I'll take your word for it. Then I suppose. Um, no, I, I don't think I have anything fucking weird, crazy shit. Um, man, I mean, there's always like these little like one-off things that you always kind of just take for granted that you think that other people do, but they don't. Uh, and so when, when I, uh, when Gabs first came over here, there were like food combinations that blew her fucking mind. She was like, what the hell are you doing? Stop sodomizing that apple. I said, what do you mean? I'm just putting peanut butter on it. And like shit like that and stuff that like you take for granted that you think everyone else does. Like brushing um, in the shower? I don't do, I don't do that. I can see why you might do that, but I'm not, I'm not big on the, the on the shower brush. I am a so shower only in the shower kind of guy. Um, Adam, you're not you're not the type of guy to be boring. very adventurous anyway. I mean, I'm Adam just, is a, I'm, I'm Adam might be bread. the most boring. He is straight white up bread. white bread. He's plain Humpty Dumpty chips. That's me. He is just Lay's. Come on, give me Lay's at least. Fucking Humpty Dumpty. All right, Dumpty. I'll give you Lay's. I'll give you Lay's, but you're sakes. still plain. All right, you're still plain Any ruffles. Maybe, no, maybe maybe I'm like a Pringle where I'm confused and I'm stuck in the cracker aisle. 
shower beers. You know what? I I've actually had I've drank in uh, drank in. I've I've Are you drinking I right have, now? <laughs> <laughs> I've definitely have had some beers in the shower, you but all, it's, you all don't know what's in this cup. But I usually do it uh, when I'm in Vegas. So like when I'm in Vegas, oh, I, okay. I have like a beer with me almost all. I have a drink usually all the time, and I'm always drinking in the shower. <laughs> okay. No, I've never, I've never, I've never. I've done I thought you could have kept been, in Vegas, I've, Jeff. I've done it in a hot tub. Like, is that like? Oh, yeah. Is that is that supposed to be like the same like count. concept though? No. Like, is it the same? I mean, it's. No, but what's the but what's just the, the end goal of what the fuck it's is efficient efficiency. about drinking in the shower? Like what the nothing. fuck is that efficiency? There's nothing efficient. You're not, about waste, it you're not wasting time not drinking. I, you're not I wasting time not about, drinking. I thought it was about the whole like similar to the hot tub and your body temperature, the whole fucking deal, and getting drunk easier in the shower. I thought Jeff, that no. was the whole Jeff, concept. You're telling me I it'd be Jeff, harder to get drunk in the hot me, tub. Yeah, you're telling me, Jeff, that you know you've woken up in the morning. You're still buzzed from the night before, and you want to keep that buzz going. You know, maybe take the edge off of a bit, drinking in the shower, get getting ready. No, for the day. you know what? Somehow. No, like when I'm in when I'm in Vegas, I remember th this was like the last time I was just there a few months ago, and it wasn't in the morning. Uh, it was at night, so like we were drinking, uh, we were down, and then we were con we wanted to continue to drinking. So I was like, fuck it, grab me one of those beers. I was grabbing a beer and I was having a shower and I just had it up on the little window ledge and just drinking while I was washing. And that was, that I, was I can see it. pre pre drink pre efficiency. Yeah, it wasn't like the, wake the, up in the, the morning, like I gotta get started, but that's like some alcoholic <laughs> shit. <laughs> that is you some know. alcoholic shit. That is hundred percent some But alcoholic a real alcoholic, shit. it wouldn't even be I beer, it'd be like mouthwash. And... Like, mm. yeah. Oh god. Mm, Listerine. <laughs> mm. So fresh, Ooh. so clean. No, I don't. I don't know. I mean, there's there there are things. Well, I'll, I'll do the super white bread thing. Like, okay, um, try a chiropractor out if you're fucked up. Oh, I'm going. There are people that refuse to go to the chiropractor because they've seen it in movies, or their you know great aunt three times removed told them that they'll die if they go to a chiropractor or some shit. Uh, they'll people. Oh, I am like, going to die though. It's pseudoscience. It's it doesn't actually do anything. Um, yeah, go to a chiropractor. I mean, there are various types of chiropractors because there's different. There are different methodologies for chiropractic care. The one that I went to is that is is a little gentler uh, about it. There's just going to the one that's like aggressive. doing the alignment and massage stuff. That's fine. Like that yeah, makes I'm getting sense. alignment. Yeah, my yeah. shit. Yeah. my shit's jacked. It's all, it's all on, like, so, the inversion table a little bit. You're good to go. Yeah. Oh, also, I also, I, I, I get braces on again in like eight days. Uh, Wait, I'm what? Getting, I'm getting um, uh, Invisalign. I'm going to get my overbite and shit fixed. Oh, because and then I you still have, were, and I, and I still have a little. Did you not wear your retainer? No, I didn't wear it all the time. So I have like a little bit of crowding happening on the bottom. Yeah, so yeah. Um, there, I always wanted to get my overbite fixed anyway. So they're just gonna do it all to get all together. It's only twelve months that I have it, but uh, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I went in and did that. She cost me five grand, fucking Invisalign. Mm. Yeah, pretty fuck that. Yeah, shit. But with a cactus, <laughs> <laughs> it'll cost me six grand cash to get my teeth fixed, and mine are a damn slight fuck up more than yours. So that is heinous. Holy shit. Yeah. Um, so, but what's nice, what they're gonna do at the end of it is, um, so I don't retainer. have to, I don't have to wear a retainer. Uh, well, I, I'm gonna be wearing like that's when Invisalign is just a bunch of retainers. You switch them out every two weeks, but at the end, they're gonna put a uh, metal wire in the back of my teeth so that I don't have to wear a retainer anymore. The wire, yeah, the yeah they do that. There. They do that now. They do that. Yeah, now, the yeah. wire just sits there. You don't even know it's there, and I it keeps will it in never place. have to wear a retainer. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, they do. They do that a lot yep. with uh, the more aggressive styles of of uh, braces, like the Damon system as well. Yeah. They do that. They put the yeah. wire in to keep it, and it just means that you don't have to worry so much about your retainer to try and keep your teeth in place. Yeah. Just fuck it. Just you know, slap some metal back there and yeah, that, well, that's what happened to me go. is I stopped wearing my retainer. So my yeah. bottom teeth, they, I have a little bit of crowding happening. Yeah. Uh, it hasn't moved now in forever, but no, of course not. You but they'll drift in the, in the early stages, yeah. but it is, it is what it is. Like I, I still dude, my teeth, what they were before were fucked. Oh, like, your teeth I, were I'm, mangled. 
Oh yeah, I'm still I'm super happy with my smile now. But I was yeah, like, yeah. you know what? If I'm gonna get my overbite fixed, I may as well just get everything done and then yeah, do yeah. that. Do the wire at the end and just say fuck it. But yeah, five Gs. Yeah. It's hey, like Jeff. fuck me. Hey Jeff, you want to know? It sounds ridiculous, but trust me, it's great. You should get a water pick. <laughs> Those things are amazing, a water especially what? if you have to floss. A water oh, pick. Oh, water pick. It's like for um. Yeah, it's literally like you shit. know how the dentist use like the high pressure thing. This is like a lower pressure version of that that you can use at home. It's like better than flossing, and especially when you get the wire, you can't floss yeah. easily. Oh, you I, get I'm that not thing, getting. You don't have to deal with it. Oh, oh, the wire. Yeah, yeah. See, the when wire you get, comes when you get the, the wire end. done. Yeah, when I'm done. Yeah, yeah. But I, the, but the but water pick is nice because you can clean easier. It's just yeah. just retainers. There's no yeah. fucking shit in my yeah, mouth. I'm like I'm never doing that shit again. Water picks are great. Yeah, I got one, and my I got one, and my dentist was like. Yo, I don't know what you started doing, but like this is so much cleaner than it was before. I'm like, oh yeah, I got a water pick. I use it like twice a week. They're like, keep keep doing it. <laughs> keep doing that thing. Uh, also, yeah. along with chiropractors, foam roll, you bunch of plebeians. Mm. Stop letting your body be fucked up from sitting in a damn chair for the whole day. Just foam. There you go. Panic knows what's up. I yep. They're no there. Yep, that's that's the show. He's god tier for your back. Oh my god. Well, you know, right now, there are people out there saying, what the fuck are you on? You don't know how bad your body is until you foam roll, and then you know how bad your body you is. You start and then feeling once, the pain. Once once you've gotten through the, the stages of, of, of the early foam rolling for, like, let's say, two weeks, it is a whole new world. You feel like you've just become a, a fucking top athlete. You just, you don't even know what's happened anymore. Your legs feel like they aren't friggin' like right now you might think your legs feel nice and loose and whatever. And then you foam hey. roll. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, it's a night and day experience. So All right, foam roll, go to the chiropractor. Uh, Panic, did you give one? Other than the water uh, pick. I was going to say, what? Well, um, my other one is, um, I do this every morning and my life is better for it. Um, just glass of water. Um, squeeze a lemon juice in there, either the pour or whatever. Um, it's definitely been like I. My mom told me to do it, and I'm like, "This is the most ridiculous thing you've said. This will no, do nothing." Good. But dude, it's like I had it, and I'm like, I've been doing it for like weeks now, and like I'm like, you know what? I actually do feel better in the morning. Like, oh, it, dude, it's when I, I, I missed that. I look what, forward what it? to it. It's where you, just you take put a, lemon in a wa in water. Oh, and lemon but, water. You can leave it in your fridge overnight. Yeah, like yeah, you just yeah, take yeah, like yeah. a glass and you either pour it in the morning or you just do it. And you, that's the first thing you do in the morning. You feel well, great. Rest at of the, the spa, day. they have like a big fucking water tank and they've got a bunch of lemons and fucking stuff, cucumbers. Yeah. Cucumba. Cucumba. <laughs> um, and like all this other stuff. And <laughs> shit just sits in there. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, Miyagi will get that shit. And, uh, and then when you drink <laughs> it, it just, it tastes like, it tastes like heaven. Oh, yeah. No, it's good. It's Cucumber. good stuff. No, but right. water a surprise. Just, just water in general first thing in the morning is a good life choice. Yeah. All right, so I think we've given about 15 different... Uh, yep. Uh, yep. Okay, so let me see here. I'm trying to find one. What is the hardest thing you have ever had to do from Neil Pring? Who is a $10... Uh, Bouse and is a fifty dollar lifetime supporter. So big shout what out! Up? Thank you. What up? The hardest uh, thing you have ever had to do, ever. Mm. That's a good question. Um. Hmm. Do you know panic? Um, I have a couple of things that are super personal I'm not going to go into that are worth yeah, harder. That, that's I'm what I'm trying to do is avoid the personal Yeah, I'm trying to shit. find the line. Um, so I'm actually going to go, <laughs> I, I'm going to go with this because this is actually not super personal, but it, it's still right. really hard. Um, it's getting into the mentality that I need to eat better and like not trash my body with food. Yeah. Um, yeah. it's just a hard, it's like, like, honestly, it's probably one of the hard, I'm like, I'm really strong mental willpower. Um, to the point where I'm super stubborn about things, but like just getting food on track has been like stupid hard for me. Like I've got boxes of Soylent that I've been trying, um, and I've been getting better about having that instead of like crappier food. And I'm like working on it, but man, it is a struggle. Yeah. So yeah, I'm going to go with that. Mm. Fuck. Uh, I, I, I guess I'll go, I'll go personal. 
Um, yeah, go for it. Definitely the hardest thing I ever had to do in my entire life, without a doubt, was break up with my ex-girlfriend. It's the hardest thing I ever had to do. It was, at, and it wasn't. It wasn't because I. It wasn't because uh, I was afraid or it didn't need to happen. It was the unknown. It was when you're so used to something for so long and it's all you know with one person. You get comfortable. Oh, beyond comfortable. It was, you know, losing out on her family, losing out her on the the time, losing out on the memories, losing out on I mean, virtually everything. It was almost like you don't know what you would do without that person. By far was the hardest thing I ever had to do by a mile was just go, okay, that's it. And it was like long overdue. It was like one of those things that you just drag through the mud and it's because of the fear. It was, it's, it's, it, it's hard to explain. I'm sure a lot of people have gone through the same thing, but by far it was to, to let go um, more. It was, it was part of it was me not wanting to see her with somebody else. Me uh, not not having that control anymore. Uh, me not knowing where I'm gonna be, or you know, if if there was gonna be better or anything like that. It was a combination of virtually everything in my entire life. Because when you're with somebody from you're a teenager to when you're an adult, I mean, in within that period, there there's a lot going on. I mean, a lot develops within that time, just even becoming a per, like a, an adult. I mean, you, you go from being a fucking kid to, to that. And when you're with, it's one thing if you're with somebody and it's like a little fling and you're with a, a couple months, but we're talking years, like, you know, years of your life, a chunk of it. And, uh, that was definitely the hardest thing. And then when it was done, it was like the biggest weight off my shoulders. And it was like, it was bliss. It, I mean, it hurt still. But it was the the hurt was nowhere near as much as the relief um, of it of it being of it being done and over. So fuck it, I'll go personal and give a fuck. Well, that, was um, that is was, by that's far the hardest avoiding. thing I ever had to do. That's what I was avoiding. But since you've done it, I'm just going to hop yep. on and, and piggyback uh, on right. that because you and I you and I had very similar situations where we were with our girlfriends for since we were basically I mean you're still a kid we were both in our teens and then all the way up through into our mid-20s and so similar thing you know uh, mine my relationship was eight years or some shit and it should have been five years but it went for an extra three and that three years was because how difficult that process was to reach the point to to do that and actually pull the trigger on it and so yeah that's i i mean yeah absolutely uh the the hardest thing it was it was between like it was it was between like that and spending time with my grandfather when i was younger when he was on the way out those were like the two that's rough oh the my two god things that's rough. yeah so he went like uh, he went like a few years not telling anyone that he had cancer just decided he got that news button that shit up didn't even tell his wife didn't even tell my grandmother get that shit because the doctor said you probably have x number of years he was already you know I, he would have been in his late 60s probably early 70s at that time and so didn't say anything and then he got diabetes on top of that and shit just fucking compounded real quick. And then when I was around 10 years old and the last probably year or two years was me spending time with him while he was just laid up in bed dying for two years and mom was taking care of him. So I was at the house all the time with mom. So those between those two things for different reasons, but still slightly yeah. similar. Those were the, the two things probably that, that got me yeah. the worst. For I think, sure. I think, I think the thing is it's, it's the letting go part. That is the yeah. tough, the that's tough the hard part. part. Yeah. And, uh, you know, and, and when it comes to relationships, it's like, it's one of those things where, you know, it, it all worked out, you know, I, I then met Kayla and but you don't know at the time. I, is the but you, problem, of course right? you don't, of course yeah. you don't. It's your whole like fucking world the is ending. Like literally yeah. your whole fucking world is ending. Right. So, Anyway, yeah. Um, Adam, you're up. 
Wait, did Panic say his? Did, did you I say just? It? Yeah. Yeah. He yeah, said I the said food. the whole oh, like, right, the food I'm thing, like, the food you know, thing. Food, Sorry, the, the food, food thing, thing. depression, yeah, yeah, that yeah, whole yeah, thing. Yeah, 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 the, yeah, right, 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 right. Yeah, Which you, is pretty you, damn you. tough too. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's yeah. dude. I'm yeah. I'm doing that too like, right now. I mean, on top I eat of like healthy, depression and stuff, like being like, yo, still, I need to like eat better. But this cheeseburger would make me feel so much better. It's like no, <laughs> because I, because uh, I love you. I'm gonna let you. I'm gonna let you go on the fact that I heard Soylent come out of your mouth. I'm just gonna let that go, <laughs> dude. Soylent is great, man. I got a fridge full of it. It's good stuff. You're drinking. You're drinking uh, like uh, unborn babies right now, dude. Uh, what you're drinking? That shit is kind. heinous. It's no worse than what you do, Adam. No worse than uh, what you do. Look, Lemon at water, least, baby at least water. I, at least I naturally source my babies that I liquefy by hand. Mm. All right, you, <laughs> you can't let a company do that for you. Uh, <laughs> hey, uh, hey, Jeff. I know this is crazy, yeah. and uh, but you just need to listen to me. This is great. Uh, have you ever shoved a seven-inch human up your ass? No. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I'll wait for a few one of you guys pick that one. <laughs> would you? Uh, would you rather do that or be shoved up the ass of a giant? <laughs> <laughs> I think I'd rather take the seven inch human up my ass. That comes from um, Blue Gree Gree, I believe is how he wants that pronounced, uh -huh. who is a uh, a ten dollar pledge, a new pledge by the looks of it. So thank Wait. you very much. He probably Blue. pledged just to ask that question. That was his whole life was just waiting for that moment. How what the fuck just Patreon, what the fuck is going on right now? Never mind. You got right, go go ahead. Panic. What about you? Um, I'm gonna go with this. I'm gonna take it. I, I do not want to go in there. All right. So all three of us agree. Way better to have some other poor, yeah. unfortunate, seven inch tall human uh, enter your 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 asshole yeah. than enter the asshole of a much larger human. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Hundred percent. Final answer. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Definitely. All right. Panic. You're up. What do we got? What is the most embarrassing public moment you have experienced? This question is from Black Jimmy CB. He is one of our twenty-five dollar pledges. He has <laughs> yeah, lifetime support of fifty bucks. <laughs> oh man, uh, there's just too there's just shit. too many to. There's a you know lot. What? Okay, so the most embarrassing the most embarrassing moment that I've ever had that just every time I think of it I cringe. Um is when I was on the island with the chick uh, after me and my me and my ex-girlfriend broke up and there was another I had another chick in the tent with me and we were fucking around and I farted and it was absolutely <laughs> nasty it was a silent fart and I knew it was going to be stanking cuz I had a donair earlier the day and it was just like I was <laughs> letting little farts go all like I would go on different parts of the island and just like fart a little bit and then go back and join the group. And I was in there and we were, you know, I was, you know, doing some things and I let a little squeaky go and I knew it was going to be it. And it stunk so fucking bad. And she threw up. Uh, oh, and, and, and the guy and one of my asshole buddies in the tent behind us goes, Oh, who shit themselves? Oh, I was like, no. Oh. It was so embarrassing. Game over. I've made two people throw up from my farts. One was that chick, and another was my boy Cam in Montreal, where uh, I we were in this little tiny shitty uh, hotel room, and uh, fuck, what was the name of that of that place? It was like a fucking shitty hotel, and it was weird shaped. So part of the room was like circular, and then another part was almost like a like a piece of a triangle. So the walls were really weirdly shaped and there were bunk beds and the bunk beds were coming off the wall. And so the, the like, like you, you could fold the bunk beds up against the wall because the room was so small. And so right. we went out to this fancy dinner down in old Montreal and we had this pasta and shit. And we like back then, you know, we were fucking broke. So like us going out to have to have a fancy dinner was like a thirty dollar meal for us. And it was like, yeah, of course. you know, spending 30 bucks on a meal. That that that's like fucking four drinks down at the bar right back in the day, and so we had the meal. We came back to the room, and I was gassy as fuck, and they were nasty. <laughs> and it was me, him, and uh, who else was it? This was when I was uh, battling at King of the Dot, and so uh, it was the the night before my rap battle, and so I let one go, and 
man, he power puked, dude. It was nasty. Oh, it was so, no. dude, it smelled so bad. It was fucking horrible. So twice, once was the girl and once was my, my buddy. But the girl one was definitely the most embarrassing because, like, obviously it was just the two of us. She knew it was me. She got sick. I mean, <laughs> we were drinking anyway, so she probably wasn't feeling good to begin with. She throws up, and then my asshole buddy, who wasn't even a, really a close friend of mine, he's kind of a dick, and he's like, oh, <laughs> who shit themselves from the other tent, man? And I, like, let everybody oh, know. Like, oh, that's fuck. brutal. Ah. And, I, and then I didn't get, I didn't get, get any. Fuck. That was definitely the most embarrassing. The hell was the I, most uh, I, I got mine. I got mine. Okay, go for it. Go you two were both present for it, actually, too. Really? MLG Anaheim 2012. And that was probably my what most embarrassing just moment the enti- ever. Just the entire fucking thing? Or like, what? Oh, no, no, no. You guys were. So I was having a rough weekend. Things were not going well. Like, no. It was just like problems left, right, and center. So I was dealing with one issue, or probably two issues at the same time. Two. And I get a call. I get a call that, you know, stuff's going down at the room. Now, mind you, all the stuff that the person who called me told me was BS and a lie, but I was already having a really bad time. So literally, I came in like full tilt, like, I think this is probably like the first time Jeff and Adam ever saw me like full on pissed off, angry, and like, I straight up unloaded on Jeff verbally, and then literally (laughs) walked in the room like, everyone, all y'all? Get, get the, the fuck, fuck out. out and i just like and like and people were just like looking at me like like i was joking or something and i'm like all right i'm gonna make this clear i'm gonna be outside for the next couple of minutes i'm gonna go take a lap if any of y'all are in here when i get back i'm picking you up and throwing you out myself and everyone's just kind of <laughs> like oh okay you serious and i went and took a lap and literally I'm, I'm going out and like three or four people come up to me like yo man why'd you yell at jeff like he didn't do anything and i explained what happened they're like Nah, man, that's all BS. This is what happened. And I was just like, uh, I didn't say rip. anything that night. Like, I was just like, everyone left. It was rip. done. The next morning, I literally just walk up to Jeff. I'm like, yo, man, sorry about last night. I heard what was up. <laughs> um, really sorry. Jeff's like, yeah, man, it's cool. We never spoke of it again. Dude, I never. <laughs> that was it. It, it, it like, I did, I did it not show my face. It fucked me because yeah. I. I did not know, show my face that entire day. I literally uh, went out. Like, I went out, got food myself, drank a little bit myself, and I was just like, you know what? I'm just going to let that cool off. I'm not going to show my face. That whole fucking trip was such a gong show. It was a gong show for sure. Oh, yeah. my God. It was a gong show. Uh, pretty much every MLG, MLG trip was a gong show, now that I think yeah. about it. No, Rally was fine. Yeah, Rally was What do you time. mean Rally was fine? We ended up at a fucking... Like three different like nightclubs, gay bar. <laughs> like a gay bar, a nightclub with a bunch of midgets that were that fucking dancing rally. to rave music. That wasn't rally. That was a That's different was MLG. Rally. Ra- no, that rally, was rally was definitely the gay place. The the gay the the the, the gay like oh the bar dinner place. Slash, oh no, yeah, you know that was Rhode Island. Am I thinking of Rhode Island? You were talking Rhode Island. Yeah, That's I wasn't Island. with you for the midgets. Ro- uh, Rhode Island Raleigh was, was just, just yeah, which one am Rhode I talking? Island. I thought Ra- Raleigh was the one I'm talking about, right? Where we had where we were eating uh, Jimmy John's the whole time. No, that was uh, that was Rhode Island. No, oh, that's that Rhode, Rhode Island? Island. Yeah, Rhode Island. Raleigh was we North, to, Raleigh, we went to North Carolina. Club. What Galsy we and all that? Uh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was yeah. a pretty Galsy. normal trip. What that was Rhode Island? No, Raleigh no, was Rhode Galsy. That was Raleigh. Yeah, and I thought that was the same. That was a normal trip. I th- yeah, I thought that was Rhode the Island same was one. a different one. No, the oh, only okay. thing that happened, no, the only thing that happened at Raleigh, Raleigh, the only thing that happened at Raleigh was Gulzy brought fucking um, yeah, sir, shark meat, dead shark, you know, a yeah. fucking can, and opened it up, and then the whole freaking <laughs> floor smelled like fucking dead hooker <laughs> for the rest of the freaking trip. <laughs> it was terrible. Um, that was a relatively uneventful trip, though. It was. That was when you did was. the Super Saiyan. Yeah, 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 yeah. The, yeah. the friggin', the friggin' one, the Rhode Island was a. <laughs> Oh my god! It was. I thank God I didn't go to that it one. It was three days of Jimmy John's and a fucking midget yeah. club where everyone was on like fucking ecstasy yeah. and MD or MDMA yeah, and 
<laughs> Jeff just weird. decided to fucking go along with it, and he disappeared. He like fuck. There's this whole crowd. Of, well, he didn't really disappear because he was like taller than everyone else in the room. Everyone was like fucking four <laughs> foot ten. And he just he turns around. He goes, "You know what? Because this is like the third club we were at." You're like, he's like, "No, you know what? Fuck it." Turns around, starts hopping backwards into this massive crowd of like fucking munchkins. And he, his arms are like this and like in some sort of weird fucking like he is sixth sense. He closes his arms and brings it out in front of him just as he's passing through people behind him. Yeah, I was like, the fuck? Because he's hopping. He was hopping on one fucking foot the whole time. <laughs> he didn't even fucking walk backwards. It was weird. I'm God, bro. I'm the Jesus of the little And then people. you kind of disappeared. And then I saw you at the front of the stage and fucking Bangarang came on. Fucking Skrillex. <laughs> and then there was this one dude tweaked out of his face. Fucking mind. He was wrecked. Is that the one where some no dude shirt. like whipped out his dick yes. on the on he had a no speaker shirt and shit? On. He, and he was fucking looked like he'd been <laughs> blowing coke for five days. Probably was, and he just dude. fucking pulls his dick out and credit to him, fucking white dude hung like a fucking horse. Fucking pulls his dick out just <laughs> right there, right there in front of like fucking five the helicopter feet. D. And he starts fucking just whipping his dick around to just screw like spang Eddie. And Jeff was up front like, look at this shit. And he's fucking like calling us over. I was like, what do you mean? It's a dick. Get the fuck away from there before you get AIDS. Get the fuck yeah. away from the stage. All right. All right. All right oh, all right. God. Uh, what's your embarrassing moment? Jeff and I went. What's what, what's on your plate? Uh, I know see, you I don't go out in public much. I never. Yeah, I never go out in public. So I don't have a lot of embarrassing shit that wasn't from when I was in school. And it was always involving Jeff because Jeff was always embarrassing me my whole fucking life in junior high. Oh, just come brutal. on. Don't blame this bad. on Jeff. Jeff is not a game. So, so <laughs> just blame I the remember, mechanics. I, I did remember, embarrass Adam a few times. Oh, so. f- a, f- <laughs> a few times. Oh my god, gave Adam so, a hard time. So, uh, yeah, the uh, I would say the worst of it was uh, um, Jeff had a fixation for me and my dick size, and he was always telling me about like, talking about the small dick. And and that's because uh, you would always say how small your dick was, well, so that it was, was just the, easy was, for the yeah, pickings. Yeah, it was just easy for the pickings, so it never really like bothered me that much because it was always like in the, like the the guys. It was like you know, well, Jeff obviously and, and the it rest bothered of it, right? you, Adam. We're still we talking about it no, today. No, no, what I mean is, what I mean is, we were in like within that the group that we hung out with. I didn't give a fuck. It was whatever. Oh, okay. But uh, then there was one morning we get on the bus. And we're sitting oh. at the back of the bus. Oh, and, I and Jeff fucking turns around and fucking does this pinky shit. And then it all of a sudden is pinky dick shit. And he does that in front of like a whole bus gets the whole bus's attention. And I'm sitting there like, what the fuck are you doing? Yeah, He's like, bad, he just goes on about a pinky dick. It's my bad, bro. That was bad, bro. <laughs> That's bad. I do remember that, that too. Bad. I, I remember <laughs> you, were, you were I remember you were pretty salty about it. You were I was like, usu- what the fuck are you doing? Yeah, yeah, you were pretty salty. Because usually usually you were funny about it, but that day you were not you were not funny. I was about not it. ready for that. I was like I was like, yeah. look, we keep this amongst the, the usual crowd. You don't need to fucking hold like friggin' hundred and ten kids on this bus need to fucking like, I remember there was one shit. guy on that bus that used to fucking bully the shit out of me. Fuck, what was his name? Fucking Carly's brother. I forget that guy's name, man. Carly. Remember Carly? Uh, I don't want to say her Short, full name here. Cute. Short. I remember I, I dated her for a minute, and then I threw a snowball in her face, and she broke up with me. Yeah. The, she used which, to, she you used know, to, you, it's, it's exactly, she used to live on the other street. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah but so what was her, her brother's name? Her older brother, I don't even remember his name, dude. That guy fucking bullied me on a ra- Dude, he was a mean, me He was, was a mean a motherfucker. Fucking, that dude, dude was a mean high, motherfucker. Junior high for me was absolutely a nightmare. Like the the only the only place that I had some kind of like dominance was on my own street, like amongst our <laughs> friends, where I was like the alpha. And but when I went to school, dude, I, I well there was three black kids in the entire school. There were the 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 Manson brothers who were who were at the time like super whitewashed because they grew up like it was it was almost like they had a free pass because they grew up with everybody so whatever racist shit they got out of their system probably did years ago but i was new and i came from canard uh in in grade eight when i when i went when i went to herring cove so when i get there I'm like fresh blood. And then, of course, you know, the girls, the girls like me because you know, I'm a good looking dude. And fucking I, I, I had the had the Wearing fresh that Nike baby blue fucking the baby. Track yeah, the North Carolina tracksuits. 
I had my <laughs> Nike uh uh, track suits that had the slush pants that made noise when you're walking and shit like <laughs> yeah fire and i had i had blonde frosted tips i used to get my yeah. highlights oh my done god so I, was, I was flyer than that a motherfucker. wasn't your most embarrassing moment Fuck Justin no, timberlake dude. fucking instant noodle I had, hair i had the girls wanting the d and the guys didn't like the shit at all man and oh. oh my god dude i got picked on dude i got in so many fights in junior high like i was always dude uh, like growing up i was always <laughs> Before before I moved on your street, I was always the guy that was I was kind of always the alpha. It was either me or Jason, uh, and when Jason was around, he was the alpha. <laughs> and and so back and forth, depending on who we were with. But I was always the guy that was like kind of an instigator. I I never really did much fighting. I got in like one or two fights uh, in in elementary school, and then I got in one fight in grade seven. But beyond that. But then when I went to ju- when I went to junior high a- a- a down down where uh, I moved where Adam was, I was like forced to fight a lot, man. I fought like a motherfucker all the time. It kind of turned me into a hard ass because people would like they have the browathon. You remember that shit? Where um, what they did is call it the browathon. Maybe we were just a little bit too uh, like a you were because we didn't really hang out in school. We we did like in the cafeteria get like the egg McMuffins and shit in the morning and like shit but yeah we there is there is there was the there was the browathon where you know those binders and then the the metal clamps that clamp together yeah, the yeah, paper yeah. and shit well what they were doing is they were pulling they were ripping that middle piece out so they would take yeah. off the the fronts and it would just be the fucking metal things well when you Ooh. open up when you open up the metal clamps on the side the wings come out like that shit yeah, yeah, yeah. and then you can close them to close the fucking middle things yeah so yeah. What what they would do is they'd have a browathon, and it was basically where they would fucking brow me. And so I would I would go into class, we'd be in line or whatever. I'd get in a class, I'd be sitting down at my desk, and they would have that metal piece. They go brow brow, and they would say brow, and they hit you. <laughs> and so, but it would but the shit would fucking hurt because oh, it, it was sharp metal. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, dude, it, it would, would cut you, you like you'd be oh, bleeding. Yeah, I'd have and bruises stuff. and shit. So they oh, would yeah. just brow brow brow, Regin brow brow, and they would say the shit, dude. It was the fucking Junior high and, and there was a fucking nightmare. That so whole I would just fight a people. Fucking shit show. Yeah, dude, I would just fight people. I remember fucking Brandon when he called me a regin and some some girl in the class started feeling bad for me. They're like, you know that's you know that's nigger backwards, right? And I was like, oh fuck. So when when I when we were in the gym and I had the basketball in my hand and we were playing basketball and he <laughs> he, he he throws me he throws me the basketball and I take it and I fucking biffed it at his face, shattered his nose, dude. It was a fucking gong show. Fought like three of his buddies, got jumped, got my ass whooped a little bit, went to the <laughs> office. Uh, the uh, uh, principal suspended all the guys, t- told me to go home. That realized, because I told, I basically told them, like, this is what's been going on. They knew. They're not stupid. Like, the teachers know what the fuck is going on. They, they just don't really say, oh, like, they say yeah. things like a little bit, but when I opened up to them, like I was crying and fucking upset and shit. And I was like, the, every day is a fucking struggle here. They fucking, they're racist. They're browing me. They're fucking calling me a nigger. It, it's what it was. It was like that all the time. And so the, the principal took my side, called my mom, uh, suspended everybody. I had to go home for the day and I was back in school the next day. And after that, like that incident, it all kind of calmed down. Like it wasn't, yeah, it yeah. wasn't as it was. That was like the climax. It was like the fucking shebang, man. But it was in crazy. In today's school system, you would have been suspended for just as long. Zero tolerance. Oh yeah. Oh, hundred percent. And just, just all this other nonsense, or or the teachers wouldn't have said anything at all because they're too scared the parents yeah. are going to fucking come after them or some shit. That's what it was. Just, and and that area too was like really racist. Like that far, like that that oh, area yeah. down there, man. It was. Well, you fucking, get you get people. You get like like. Uh, yeah, further out, uh, yeah. like that. That where we that were, it was fed, fine. Right? Yeah, where we were, but you get further out, and then those go- those kids that filtered into the junior high once elementary school was over. Then yeah, it got you got you got some you got some crazies in there for sure. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so that was, question. and then when I went to junior high, they're like, "Oh, it's gonna get worse, dude." Jun- or, or sorry, uh, high school. High school was, was great. Better. I mean, I oh, there was, was still better. I still dealt with like some certain bullies and shit, and like just yeah, some yeah, dumb yeah. shit. But it was high school. I mean, I think everybody has like people that they just yeah. butt heads with and right shit like that high school high school for whatever reason it's weird like in in um in movies and all this other shit tv shows and shit high school seems to be like this time where everyone just gets fucking dumpstered 
but um I don't know. Like for 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 me, some people and for did, most of the people, yeah. But but it's not but as they bad were as, getting it. But they were yeah. getting it in junior high too. Like middle school seems like it's when junior it's high when was kids. So bad. It's when kids get a personality and they're like and they're super try hard about everything and they're and they're trying to be adults uh, yeah. way more than they are in high school. Yeah. And so uh, I mean, junior high was a shit fest, and then high yeah. school obviously there's got bad shit that happens in high school, but it just seems like. So so much less ridiculous than maybe that's just our experience because our maybe. junior high was a fucking fire, but yeah, uh, definitely, definitely crazy. I when you said the fights and shit, all I can think of, dude, is the day that you fucking got yourself out of a fight by friggin' faking some fucking bullshit fuckery. You did like some, what was like um, what was it? You 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 uh, you, you friggin' you 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 did like. <laughs> You did like all this, uh, like fucking karate. Tried like some half-ass karate shit and just kept doing stuff, un until until it diffused the situation. It was in junior high and it was up in the back, <laughs> like not on the field but in the pavement in the back. Oh, I, can't remember. I think I do. I think I remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who was yeah, who, yeah. Who was I fighting? I don't with? remember. I don't remember who the fuck was on the other side of it anymore. Maybe Jameson or some shit. I, I don't. I don't remember. I don't know. But, I don't yeah, think I had was... beef. I don't. I didn't have beef with him, but it might yeah, have been. I don't think it was so definitely. I it was definitely probably in the pack of of who we who that, we hung out with. Yeah, that circle, that circle or whatever. But yeah, oh, that was that was fun. Oh, that's all I could think of was that fucking time. It was just so funny. Oh, and, and when I and, and and when I fought <laughs> uh fought the my next door neighbor, what's his face? Uh, when when he threw a rock at me at, at home, and I'm like, tomorrow at school, you're getting fucked, bud. Oh, I'm like, dude, he, he was only there for, I can't remember his name anymore, but he was only there for like, what, a year or some shit? Yeah. And, then he and bounced? I remember, I remember I like grabbed him at school and I stuffed him between two lockers and then I, and then I pulled him out and I threw him in the bathroom and I tried to stick his head in the toilet and then his buddy <laughs> came and punched me in the back and I'm like, all right, you want to get it? And so we went out in the, we went out in the hallway and I just started fucking swinging. Like I was throwing haymakers. And he was he was backing up, backing up, backing up, and then a teacher came and like fucking tackled me down. <laughs> dude, I was on dude, edge, was, man. Junior high I was dude, on edge. There was there was a fight every like five <laughs> minutes at that junior high. It was a gong show. It was just yeah. people were getting dummy. There were guys that were like held back for so long. They were adults. And they were and they were just it's so, it's so true. <laughs> and they were the ones fighting all the time. I was like, you realize you're beating up children right now? Like get the fuck over yourself. Get yeah. out of here. Then he looks at the teacher's like, yo, chill the fuck out. And the student's like, shut the fuck up, motherfucker. I'm not you too. The teacher's like, oh shit. Yeah. I ain't trying to fuck with this grown ass man. <laughs> <laughs> Guy's got a mustache so and true. muscles, fucking bigger than the Absolutely. principal. Absolutely, like all these fucking dudes like roiding up and shit. That oh, was <laughs> terrible. Oh my god, it's so true, oh, so fucking fuck. true. All right, oh, all right. one more. Let's Lord. get one. Let's get one more in. Yeah, let's get one more in here. You, you what? Who picked the last one? Who was that? I did. Uh, that was me. All right, all right, all right, Mr. Black, you're up. What do we got? Uh, a quick <laughs> one. Yeah, really quick because I really have to go. Um, uh, let's go with uh, what's the most? Okay, this is from Otech. Uh, what is the most overrated sport if you can think of one, and what would you add to it in terms of rules, equipment to make it interesting? Okay, say that one more time. Okay. I just I've. Yeah, what what's the most overrated sport that you can think oh, okay. of? Okay, and what would you add to it in terms of rules or equipment to make it interesting? Uh, I'm going to say um, soccer or football for everyone else in the world Ooh. is overrated Ooh. as fuck. Europe's going to um, hate you. And I will I will replace it with uh, getting rid of all the guys and then just having the women play because the women are more men than the men are. Uh, and every time I see a dive, I want to ah! fucking throw up. Ah! Uh, and and women, women, women in soccer fo or football, or whatever the fuck you want to call it, you get like they're like taking hair, just fucking big, slamming just bitches, slamming bitches, mm, fucking suplexes, just everything, fucking whatever. And you're like, yeah, fuck yeah, that's 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 some shit. And then in like uh, dudes are out on the field and somebody sneezes in their direction, they're like, oh, I'm blind. 
Yeah. They just fucking okay. like fall to the ground and shit. It's I'm terrible, to, uh, man. It's so dumb. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take that one exactly because that was what I was going to say. Oh man, oh, especially about the diving. Right. Okay, so I I would I, I'm I'm on board 100% soccer. I mean that shit is just heinous to watch. I mean it is fucking so boring, and the, just they're pussies. They're a bunch of fucking pussies. I understand that it's it's for it's it's to get calls, but I mean I've seen there are compilation videos that are almost unbelievable. <laughs> it's comedic. Like you uh, it's like comedic. you actually yeah. are going. Did this motherfucker that gets yeah. paid thirty million dollars a season? Yeah, really just. Pretend that he walked up to a dude. I've ever seen one guy. It was just I, it was <laughs> over the shoulder. Top. No, no. There's one guy. He he goes up to the uh, to another player or some shit or a coach or something. He's like, "What the fuck was that? What?" <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's almost like a dude. I've seen. I've actually it's like watching have, a Jeff stream all the time. Straight up, dude. It was almost like the the guy got dropped with a fucking Chad Future and he got shot three times. The the reaction was just so ridiculous. I couldn't I saw, believe it. But I saw one the other up. day. I saw oh. one the other day. Two guys. Okay, they're both chirping each other, and they're doing the whole walking towards each other while yeah. they're chirping yeah, yeah, each yeah. other. All right, yeah. fucking just you can fuck yeah. you come over come here. I'll fucking here, shove bitch. my foot up your ass. Come Let's on, go. come on, bitch. Huh? And they get up to huh? each other, and they like they like fucking like a half kiss. Like they barely their noses, yeah. like their nose hair, fucking brushed both of them simultaneously. Dove. In opposite mm. directions, like they just <laughs> ran at each other oh. top speed and fucking mashed, like ah, like uh. some Matrix shit. Oh my god! It's and so I just, bad. Was, I, I, you can't take that shit seriously. And you know what? Fix it. Instant fucking replay for the ref. All right, we want to do this. And then if you get caught diving, get out the fuck get out. The fuck, get out red of card. the league. Like just instant leave. Red, card. red card. And by that. the way, you just got fined, motherfucker. Get yeah, out of here. That'll clean it up real quick. All that'll right. So for the sake quick. of just not saying soccer, I'm gonna go with the next worst thing. Baseball. No. Oh, I just, thought of, I just thought of two. I just thought American of two different things. Oh, I don't know which one to go for right now. You know what? Just because I was gonna say darts, but but <laughs> but I'm gonna what? go with I'm gonna go with pool. Dirt, darts. Watching people play pool has got to be <laughs> one of the worst fucking things. Is that even a sport? Like, is pool playing? Why pool don't you a sport? just say recreational lawn bowling and get the fuck <laughs> over with? <laughs> <laughs> Long darts. <laughs> so I'm, I'm gonna say, is 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 pool considered a sport? Like, is that a sport? Look, dude, if if we can play video games as a sport, pool's darts. a fucking sport. <laughs> All right, okay. All right, so okay, I was gonna say darts, but you know what? Darts can be entertaining for because of the announcer. The announcer can get a little hype. But pool, dude, I swear, no, not cur curling is actually, there's something Curling's, about curling, curling hard. That, that is not only entertaining to watch, but it is like, it'll put you to sleep. And not because it's boring, but there's something about it being on that that yeah. just puts you in this comfortable, like, uh, like the zen of just yes. not giving a fuck. Like whenever, I, whenever I'm watching curling, it's usually me curling up on the sofa and just fucking like doing nothing and it's just on i'm never looking for it it just so happens to be on and i yeah. never change the channel yeah, like game you, of thrones could be in. on and i'm like game of thrones can wait right now <laughs> curling is on i need it's a the nap. briar cup like, motherfucker I'm, dude there's something about <laughs> curling that is just so fucking chill would i ever want to play it no would i ever no. want to be there alive in the cold no, no but oh in the comfort God. of my own home i can just fucking chill and listen to rocks hit each other and just fucking hear heavy heart it's great and i'm just like sitting there just chilling and and oh, i yeah. eventually sleep and then i wake up and i'm like fuck in a fog and the shit's still on and i just go back to sleep it's amazing what about this but though what about this though golf okay and you know what makes it better a time machine to tell Tiger Woods to take his dick out of the woman that's not his wife. <laughs> We've just That'll solved work. golf for the next 15 years. I think, Done. Pool would, I think pool would be better if they, if they miss a shot, they have to take a hit from their opponent with the pool stick. Just, <laughs> bro! Just go out of the shit. Bro! <laughs> so I you're talking about the cool. chess boxing equivalent of pool. Yes. Yes. Exactly. Absolutely. Just a brow right at the I end. I think so. I think so. All right. Do you there have you have it. Else? Do you have anything yeah, else, no. Panic? It's a good rap. That's it. Good Done. rap. Beautiful.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. This has been another Technical Alpha Side B. We'll be back next week, same bat time, same bat channel. But before we do head out, let me tell you, we've got these guys. They're on Patreon and they're giving us money so that we can continue to live. Let me read off a few names for you real quick. I love to live. Mmm. Jetrix. That five hundred dollars. Damn. Pretty sure he's still there. I haven't Ayo. checked yet, but I'm pretty sure he's still there. <sighs> Beast all kid, pretty sure still sitting two fifty. Again, not hundred percent sure because I haven't checked this week. But I don't care because we're mentioning them anyway because they've been there for so damn long. And then a whole host of hundred dollar donations. I'm gonna ignore the fact that we're down four hundred dollars from last month. It's a slow oh. month. It's okay. Oh. I believe in you guys. You're gonna bring it back. It's fine. They don't want to see D and D apparently. Beans and rice. rice they just, they just don't want to see us, you know, dungeons and, and dragons it up. That's all it is. I like beans. Joe McDong, <laughs> Sir Holmes, Postal Panda, Jamaican Jazz, Adam B, Toad of Steel, Nailey, Derek P, Fry C, and Ice Wolfie. Thank you, gentlemen and ladies. If we have some in there, uh, you know, attack helicopters, you guys whatever are super you identify supportive. as. We love you. We love you Long guys. Time supporters down there on the hundred dollar tier. Absolutely. Even the dollar Everyone. menu. Dollar love menu. You. Get hype. Oh yeah, we love you all. Get hype. The dollar menu doesn't exist here in Canada, but we can dream. We can dream. We will see you guys next week. Thank you so much. And until then, peace.